I'm going to be discussing the do's and don'ts of installing a Sammy's fastener. Number one, when you use a Sammy's fastener, whether it's concrete or whether it's wood or even steel or even an express, you never, ever, ever want to use an impact driver. You want to use a regular battery operated screw drive system. It could be, um, there's various brands out there to use, but that's what you use. You don't want to use an impact. The impact is primarily for high torque. So for instance, if you're putting like a tire on a car, you need a lot of torque, you would use an impact. You don't want to use an impact for these type of fasteners. You also want to make sure um, you use the proper nut drivers. I've got two out of three, but these are the two most popular ones. There are three, three nut drivers, the black one, which is primarily for vertical going straight up and down. You have a red one, which is considered our sidewinder. I'll give an example of a sidewinder. That's where you're actually tapped in the side of the cap here. And then we have a gold one, which is for our swivel going from one to 89 degrees. This would be for sloped, uh, sloped uh, ceilings, kind of like parking garages. So what would happen, the number one issue we see in the field is someone's gonna take our nut driver, for it, say for instance, our black nut driver. Then they're gonna do is they'll take maybe a Milwaukee bandsaw and they're gonna cut it. Well, when they cut it, you are going to essentially turn it into a socket. And the reason we have the three nut drivers is because when you drop, say for instance, this is our vertical for vertical, when you drop your fastener in your nut driver and you screw it with your regular drill drive, it's going into, in this case, it would be wood, um, since this is wood fastener. You would hit your substrate and then the nut driver is gonna actually cam out. Once it cams out, you can spin it all day. It's not going to go any further. If you cut the nut driver, what's gonna happen is it's gonna to continue to spin. If it continues to spin, then you, you uh, run a very high risk of cross-threading. If you cross-thread, then what happens is your load values go exponentially down and you don't want that. So again, never, ever, ever cut a nut driver. Again, that's the number one, uh, number one issue we see on the field. You wanna use the proper nut driver for your, the proper faster. So it's either gonna be vertical, straight up and down, sidewinder, which is right here. That's vertical sidewinder and swivel so also when you are using uh, a drill that's kind of hammer setting you never want to put it on a hammer setting with the drill uh, as you're as you're putting a faster on so when your nut driver is attached to your tool if you have, have it on a hammer drill setting what's going to happen is rather than just rotate it's also going to go up and down very quick that's great if you're going to be using a drill bit in a concrete, that's what you're supposed to do. But when you're utilizing a nut driver on with the tool and the faster, you don't want to have it in that um, hammer setting. Now, in addition, we have same as for steel. Um, you'll, in each box, you'll see a kind of a little blue label. And with your same as for steel, you'll have a box of nuts. You'll get 25 um, fasteners and you'll get 25 nuts. Use the nut when you, uh, when you install the fastener as well, too. Um, there are sometimes you don't have to. That's when you go in a quarter inch of steel or more. You, you don't have to put the nut on it. But anything below that, you have to put the nut on it. So you want to use that. Um, also, one of the big issues in the field that we see is we'll see contractors using the swivel anchor improperly. So in other words, this is designed to go from one all the way to like for one to 89 degrees. Um, it's not meant to hang vertical like our, let's see, like this type of faster on here. It's not, it's not meant to be a sidewinder like this is that's, which is tapped in the side. It's meant to go one to 89 degrees. What happens is if you use, a, uh, we've had a contractor before, try to, they, what they needed was a sidewinder concrete anchor, but they, di they didn't have any in their inventory. So they, went, they decided, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the swivel instead. And so what happened is when they installed the swivel and they went ahead, they tried to go ahead and bend it, they bent it over at 90 degrees and you run the risk of your head popping off. So again, use the swivel 
and what it's designed for, not for zero degrees, not for 90 degrees, but anywhere between 1 to 89. Um, also, kind of, a, kind of a pro tip is you never want to use a bent threaded rod. So if you, whatever rod you're using, uh, whatever length it is for 3 8 you want to make sure it's not bent. Um, also, you want to make sure that you use the correct drill bit on the fasteners that require it. For instance, on our concrete anchor, um, this is our typical, this is our tap cut anchor, you need to use a, this, since it's not self-drilling, you need to drill the concrete first. So you would drill, you would take a quarter inch drill bit, um, which is uh, included in one of our inst concrete installation kits. You'd go ahead and drill into the concrete, then you go ahead and drive your fastener inside, um, inside the hole. And what happens is your threads are actually gonna cut the concrete. So um, those are some tips on here. Those are some do's and don'ts. Um, that's it, thank you very much.